Hey guys, today I want to talk about some basic uh, guitar picks for flat picking, holding the pick, and right hand technique for beginners, so to speak. So, um, first things first, um, personally, I really like this blue chip TP50 right now, so that's what I'm running. Um, I like torque picks and a few other things too, but this kind of my go-to middle ground good reliable pick um, so holding the pick put your hand out like this I like to imagine you know your index is your last joint is almost 90 degrees put the pick on there put your thumb on top of the pick and that's basically how you hold it now depending on it depends on how thick your pick is. Um, I've gotten thinner over time. But if you want more flex out of the pick, leave more pick sticking out. If you're using a little bit thinner pick, this is a 50 thousandths thick pick, which is, I think, like 1.3 millimeters-ish. Don't quote me on that. Somewhere around there. Um, and if you want to keep it real stiff, just have a little bit of pick sticking out. So... Uh, for me, I find somewhere, if you look, depending on where you're looking at it, I guess it can look a lot different, can it? Somewhere like that is kind of the middle ground. Um, maybe a little less. Alright, so that's how you hold it. The next thing to go over is when you're playing what position is your right hand in so some people play with their fingers out actually been practicing to keep my fingers tucked in personally but you don't want to be in a stiff fist either because when you when you fist all of this becomes tight right in here all these tendons and you end up playing with your elbow if you're if you're actually squeezing that and if I try to do it I'm really sloppy <laughs> I could do it, but it's it's not fluid for me. Um, but some people play like that. Uh, Doc was a very stiff, stiff-armed picker, and um, some people like to keep their fingers out and anchor the pinky. <laughs> Technically, none of these ways are wrong. So, I mean, people, I think it really depends on how you started. Because, you know, if you take someone that's been anchoring for, for, for over five years and try to tell them to float, they're probably going to have a hard time. But um, from everything I've learned from watching other people's videos, I, I do find, for me, what works best is to keep the fingers tucked but not tight so I mean they're they're not dragging anywhere they're not straight out because that's another thing is if you if you're extending anything out like this it's gonna be stiff just like a fist is and you don't want stiff you want loose so even if if you're out you know that's fine but remember these are kind of just floating there and you know, sometimes, you know, if you're anchoring, it kind of makes sense because you're you're using it for something. But if they're just floating there, I mean, what are they really doing? They're almost just in the way. So keeping them back, but not stiff, not a fist. Keeping your hand almost like you're holding an egg, but you're not squeezing it. And that's what I found to be the best for me, at least. But 
Everyone's different. And sometimes, you know, when I'm playing out, I do find that I do extend. And I don't mean to, but I put my fingers out during a solo or something. But it's usually, I would say, more or less because I'm, I'm getting tense, because I'm, I'm almost nervous, and I'm about to go into the solo. So my, my body starts reverting back to, you know, the first three to four years of practice. So, I mean, if you're starting out, I would say it's a good time to go ahead and pretend like you have an egg in your hand and you're not going to crush it. And just keep picking like that. But, you know, and even your pick, you want to keep it firm. But you shouldn't have to squeeze it like like you're crushing a bug or something you should be able to just hold it snug because if you even if you just stiffen those it can affect all the muscles here and then your wrist doesn't move as freely and uh, like i said there's a lot of styles out there uh tony's always been my inspiration and he had a very loose wrist you know it almost looked like his elbow wasn't moving much unless he was going to do a full strum. Um, so just keep all that in mind, and uh, I'll do a video of picks soon going over a few other comparable picks. So, uh, all right, thank you guys for tuning in.